Ciao Torino! Thank you so much for being here. I am so happy to be here with you today in Torino, this beautiful town. And uh, I am very proud to be here with you today. So thank you so much for showing up. Of course, I have to say I am very impressed with, with the local organizers here who have put this together in such a short period of time. Thank you so much. I remember a few months ago when I first saw the pictures from the strike in Torino. And when I saw those pictures of countless of people just filling up the streets, I felt so hopeful. Millions of people saw those photographs and that gave hope to millions of people. So thank you to the city of Torino. The COP25 meeting, which is happening in Madrid right now, is almost over. And we unfortunately probably already know the outcome. World leaders are still trying to run away from their responsibilities. But we have to make sure that they cannot do that. We will make sure they, that we put them against the wall and that they will have to do their job and to protect our futures. Yesterday, many climate activists were thrown out from, from the COP25, so therefore we strike today all around the world in solidarity uh, and so yeah. <laughs> I will try to speak louder. No matter how the outcome may be from the COP25, we must continue. We cannot allow ourselves to give up. That is not an option. We have to continue. that the older generations are handing over the responsibility to solve this crisis to us young people we, who have not started this crisis. It is not fair that we have to do all this. The adults are behaving as if there was no tomorrow. But there is a tomorrow. It is the tomorrow where we young people will live and we have to fight for that tomorrow. We cannot no longer take that tomorrow for granted. We have to fight for that tomorrow as if our lives depended on it, because it does. In less than three weeks, we will move into a new decade. And this decade, I cannot say enough how important this decade will be. This is a decade that will define our future. What we decide to do or not do in this decade, we will have to live with for the rest of our lives. And our children and our grandchildren will also have to live with it. So, so we have... Twenty nineteen is almost over, 
And we must make sure that 2020 is the year of action, is the year when we bend the global emissions curve. We must make sure, and we will make sure that if we stay together, we can do it. It is us, the people, who are the hope. It is we who can make the changes. We are going to put pressure on those in power, and we are going to make sure that they will act and that they will take their responsibilities because this is absurd. So I just have one last question to ask. Are you with me? Yeah. Grazie Torino.